My name is Kusuma Kukorana. I'm from Sri Lanka and uh, I'm here as a lead reporter for climate change as well as participating in many other activities. This is actually the 13th time I have been at Stockholm Water. So you've been here 13 years in a row? 13 years in a row. Oh. So you've seen it grow from quite a small event to, to a bigger event? Actually, when I first came, I think it was uh, much smaller. I remember it was something like 800 people. And that was in 96. But now it's definitely become the hub of the water thinking. Mm. People come here to learn, they come to recharge knowledge, they come here to meet people, network. It's really for me, it's become an integral part of my annual plan. Mm -hmm. I would love to keep coming because I feel myself recharged with the new thinking. And I like meeting young water professionals. It is, gives us such a sense of uh, uh, immediacy to hear their concerns. So how many young deaf rapporteurs do you have on your, th on your team this year? Uh, we have uh, a team of uh, five women. And five women, no and, men. And one man, uh, which is uh, <laughs> gender imbalanced. But uh, there are, uh, these young women on the team are really great. And you are trying to cover the climate events, right? Yes, yes. we are trying to climb, uh, cover the climate change event. But uh, we have to understand that uh, we shouldn't go only to the events which are labelled climate change. A lot of what is water is relevant and impacted upon by climate change. So uh, we are trying to attend some other sessions as well. So do you think the climate debate is something that's very pronounced at this year's World Water Week? Yes, it is. And I hope that, you know, this is not just going to be the flavor of the month. Because for us, in developing countries, it's a matter of life and death. Can you, um, do you have any experience of climate change in your home country? Yes. Extreme events are affecting us. Uh, the droughts are coming. They're becoming longer. And when we have rain, it is high intensity rains which gives us one month of rainfall in one day. So flash floods, the related disasters, uh, we, uh, deaths due to floods, we have to do, we have to contain with all that. So part of what I'm doing is climate change adaptation trainings for communities. It is poor communities who are going to be affected. And as water professionals, we have to give them the tools for survival. Mm. So. What are your hopes for World Week when it comes to the to climate adapta adaptation? Um, what what do you want? What, what kind of issues do you want World Water Week to to put forward? I think that uh, we would uh, like water to be very strongly part of the negotiations in Copenhagen. We would like uh, this not to be seen as a sectoral issue, but an integral issue to everything. This is the first impact of the loss of water uh, is something that uh, we have to uh, uh, we have to uh, understand that it's going to affect immediately but as we say that you know we can live without food for a while and live without energy for quite a while but water is a problem and I, uh, the immediacy of the lack of water is something that uh, has to be emphasized. The people who come here, 2,500 people, they are, uh, they have such an enormous network. They can go back and they can impact on the thinking of their governments. They can think impact on the thinking of the United Nations. But it has to happen fast. I think that we have to now tie the social reality with our intellectual ability. Thank you very much.